Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. Hope you're all feeling fantastic. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back, Sagittarius. Let's get straight into it. Let's dive in head first, as I always say. I'll clear the deck for you. Now, Sagittarius, for this week, I do not want to really emphasize a topic or any subtopic. I just really want to be open for the collective watching this reading. What do the cards want to tell you? What insight, understanding, what clarity or confirmation is available to you in regards to you and a specific person? That's it. Let's see. It's a really um, it's a really good way to actually get the most out of tarot because we're not really imposing too much on it. And as a rule, the tarot will always tell you what you need to know, not necessarily what we want to know. <laughs> so let's see. Here we go. All right, so two more. So this is in regards to you and your person. And of course, Whoever this person is, it does not matter the status of your relationship, whether you're talking or not. But let's see. So it's someone specific. Here we go. What do the cards want to say for the collective watching this, please? For my lovely Sagittarius, for their highest good and always for their absolute highest good. Three more, two more and the last one. Okay, so I just heard that for many of you, um, that you are due an apology because yeah that's all i'm hearing i don't want to add too much on that yeah something unfair all right bottom of the deck well there we go <laughs> i always like it when i say it first and then i see it um on the cards we have justice libra energy what i really like about this particular image is that the scales are completely balanced take note that they are not always balanced depending on what deck you have or what deck you see but these are balanced. Now, funny enough that justice can come with an apology that is backed by facts, not by excuses or something flimsy or, listen, I did that because I was having a bad day. No, it is backed by facts. In other words, I'm sorry that I did this and this because of this, this and this. In other words, I get straight to the point here. Um, this is someone that also would like to perhaps make up for lost time, lost love to earn your trust, your love, your respect back. There could be a hot topic also surrounding this connection of some legality, some separation and divorce. But ultimately, it's such a positive card that on its own, it actually means yes. So if you have a question pertaining to a particular person, the answer is yes, in a positive way, of course. But they're coming, obviously they do want to balance things out. Aha, uh -huh, because there was a big imbalance in the past. Look at that. The Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy, look at that huge imbalance. And it's not even like a slight imbalance. We can clearly see that the scales are kind of more leaning towards one end than the other. Again, this could also be more hot topics of um, separation, divorce, legalities, um, assets, money being separated or fairly distributed here. It could also mean spousal support, child support. Now I can see that this, because it's behind justice and it's a major arcana, which is a lot more powerful um, than any minor arcana. It kind of trumps any minor arcana. See how your person wants to balance the imbalance of what's happened between the both of you as well. What I really like about the Six of Pentacles, it shows to me that's, that your person has good intentions, that they are coming back with more I want to be more kinder. I want to start giving more back to Sagittarius, perhaps after taking so much or not even appreciating your efforts here as well. You can definitely expect a gift here from your person. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. This is the hardest working person in the entire deck, ruled by Virgo. So you may have met this person through work, um, through your hobbies turned work or your finances or your studies, but regardless where you met or how you met this person or how, if you still see this person, um, the Eight of Pentacles shows that they've got their work cut out for them, but this time they are prepared to put in the love, the loyalty, the effort to redeem themselves and prove to you that they're serious about this. Wow, the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. All these Pentacles is showing me that there's a lot of groundness now. There's something about more solid about this person's offer, you could say. The Four of Wands. What a beautiful card. Look at that. Everyone's celebrating. That's Aries energy. It does speak of some form of reconciliation or at least just working out your differences. Let's smooth out all the wrinkles here and let's just clear out all these assumptions or especially if your person said or did something that was very, very unfair that caused the scales to do this because now they want it like this. So we've got some other hot topics 
when I say hot topics, it's because they're going to be the main focus here of conversation, such as, you know, meeting in the middle, reconciliation, making amends. We've also got commitment, marriage, moving in together or moving back in together in due time. I'm seeing a change of job or address ad, um, for you, Sagittarius, or your person. And what I love about this is that we have the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. This is meeting face to face, working out these differences. So you can both drop these wands. That's you. It hasn't been easy for you, Sagittarius. That is exclusive, your energy right there. It is a very highly stressful card, but this is now collaborating, being on the same page. It's like, finally, it's like you understand what Sagittarius was telling you all along. Okay, and what I love is that the tens are all about the end of a cycle. So the end of tough times, the end of those bumpy roads between you and your person. So let's talk about the current situation right now. Yep, the four of swords, Libra energy. So are you talking to your person? I'm going to say for the vast majority of you, you are not talking to your person. And if you are, it's very little, it's very inconsistent and probably only when necessary, if you know what I mean. Don't know why I did that, but yeah, you get what I mean. So this is about rest, recuperation, recovery. This is also gathering your thoughts. So I see here at the moment, both of you are kind of, kind of, how could I say, is pulling your energy back in. You're pulling your energy and you're kind of considering the future of this connection. Um, you're gathering your thoughts. Fours are all about planning. But I see here that your person is dreaming about the fastest night, the Knight of Swords. So they're pretty much from being stagnant and doing nothing. They're planning on taking action towards you, though. This is actually a really good card for those that have been a bit mentally exhausted. Now is the time for both of you to take a rest, especially you, Sagittarius. Let's talk about your thoughts and feelings. The lovers, Gemini energy and number six, all about healing, all about balancing now, seeing eye to eye. We have a deep soulmate connection. I feel like the lovers is telling you now Sagittarius is a choice to make, well, a very important decision based on your heart, your feelings, not your head. <laughs> um, sometimes we need to make logical decisions, but this is saying now we need to make a choice from the heart. You know, do a decision that you know is right for you, not what other people think that you should do. What is the best for you? Because I can see here that, well, you still do love this person. Let's talk about your person's thoughts and feelings. Yeah, look at that. The five of wands, Leo energy. They don't want to fight with you. Um, but this is all about conflict, chaos, a clash of egos. It's a lot of arguments, finger pointing. You did this, you did that, for example. Um, it could even be competition for your person's attention in the past, which caused a huge imbalance here as well. But I'm seeing also there's a lot of chaos around your person versus you. Yeah. Wow. I, I think they don't want they don't want this to be argumentative. They I think here yeah, their, their main goal is to smooth things out though with you. So what's happening behind the scenes between the both of you? What's unseen that you are not aware of that's happening right now? Wow, is the world. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So the closing of a difficult chapter. Uh, you know, we're actually closing the door to the past. It's a card of celebration and congratulations. You have done it. Both of you have survived. We have learned our lessons here. We can move forward where the world is literally both for both of you, your oyster. So where there is an ending, we have a brand new beginning. Seeing the world is considered a very lucky sign, a very good omen here for the collective watching this. So it is the last card of the major arcana. So you and your person have gone through the worst of the worst. Let's talk about the beating heart of your reading. Now, this card can often represent mutual energies. Here we go. The Two of Swords, Libra energy. I can see, Sagittarius, what's happening here. Your person perhaps does not know how to approach you out of fear because I still feel that there's a lot of tension here between the both of you, no matter how much time has passed. But with you, I see that there is a war between your head and your heart here. You know, your head is probably saying, no. There is no way this can be fixed. How can I even trust or even look at my person the same way? But your heart is saying, well, what if we tried one more time? What if we tried? We're a lot more wiser now. What do we have to lose, for example? Okay, I see. So both of you are just a bit on the fence. I think your person is, if not a little bit afraid of how to approach you. And here, of course, it's your feelings. So let's see. What do you both need from each other right now? Yeah. Love, a hug, emotions, affection, the King of Cups, very strong Scorpio energy, but this could also be a Pisces and a Cancer. Wow. 
I see here that both of you have learned massive lessons here in terms of the relationships, in terms of yourself, your outlook now on this relationship. But what I really like is that both of you are coming across as very mature now emotionally especially your person like a lot more emotionally available grounded empathetic intuitive now a lot more softer um this is the person that is all about home about family i can see that you both still do love each other but there are some things that need to be kind of ironed out if you know what i mean let's talk about hopes and fears it's the hierophant number five changes ruled by taurus this is the card of commitment marriage doing the right thing perhaps going down a traditional route seeking counsel or advice from could be a therapist someone spiritual like a priest um, it could also be getting advice from a family or friend or someone a mentor that has been there they've done it before and they may actually open up your eyes but i see here some of your fears would be that you know after working on myself i give this person a new chance and what if this doesn't work out what if i waste my time again and i think your person their fear here is what if you uh, pretty much end up rejecting them no but you know when we're talking about hopes and wishes it's perhaps starting again this time on a clean slate looking forward to the future what else do we have in the near future? We also have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Some of you may actually not give this person the, the words that they want to hear, the reaction that they're hoping to receive. This is known as a high rejection card. If anything, I see you being extremely, perhaps indecisive. Your heart may be saying, yes, let's do it. But I see your mind saying, I'm too scared perhaps to move forward with this person. And that is fine, Sagittarius. You can only move forward when you feel ready absolutely because i feel that perhaps this person towards the end gave you the cold shoulder or maybe they did a runner they blocked you they, they ran away so fast they left a dusty trail here perhaps money couldn't have been lost or stolen here as well could have been hemorrhaged towards something else so at the moment things are a little bit up in the air with you let's talk about the most probable outcome yet we're still taking our time. We've got the hanged man, Pisces energy. I believe that this is going to provide both of you, especially you, Sagittarius, the opportunity to see things from different angles, different perspectives here as well. This is the only energy where there is something up in the air. It's all in limbo. It's not moving forward. It's not moving back here as well. Things are suspended in the air. I see you perhaps slamming the brakes on this um, at the moment because your person has really changed from this to this. And now it's like, oh, now it's going to be your call, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Now, this also does require a level of personal sacrifice from you, such as, are you willing to trust this person? How much are you willing to open up the lines of communication here? They said one more because the six of wands, look at that Leo energy. There can be success to this, but it's not going to happen overnight. We move from the five to the six, which is good. But I see that your person, they've got the work cut out for them. And I don't know if you're willing to wait for this person. But before I you know, say any more, I want to clarify these cards here for you. Let's see. There's just been a lot of differences. There's been a lot of clash here. This definitely could have also been from having too many people around this connection. This could also show your person has to learn, or at least I think they have learned, the value of having strong boundaries within a relationship, honoring and protecting you as well, like you've done for them. Definitely could have been a lot of argumentative people um, around this connection that were just against it. They tried to perhaps pull you apart. I, yeah, look at that. I've, I split the deck. We've got the lovers again. I, I think both of you still love each other though. But sometimes you may be asking yourself, well, is love enough? Is it is it going is love enough to keep this relationship afloat? Let's see. They're saying two more. Last one. Perfect. Here we go. Bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles. Wow. So this is the student card. I can see that both of you have learned some lessons along the way strong capricorn energy but it could also be a taurus and a virgo here now in terms of messages this is a direct message i'm seeing like a text message that gets straight to the point but more importantly this is face-to-face -face communication just like the three of pentacles so there is something here that they want to express to you even though they are coming across as more of this both of you as this king of cups energy um the offer may be small just as can we meet for a coffee for example because i feel like they want to see you they want to look at you in the eyes though the nine of pentacles virgo energy they don't want you to be single 
This is um, ruled by Virgo. It's a minor arcana of the Empress. What I really love here is that both of you are coming across as very independent, self-sufficient, Sagittarius. It's one thing that you are never going to do is lose your identity, completely lose yourself and be dependent on this person. I think here that you are pretty much smashing it in a really good way in terms of your professional life and your goals, even self-employment. You may have that million dollar idea that's been simmering at the back of your mind. You're going to take action. But look at this from your person saying, hey, let's not be single anymore. Can we please reconcile the three of cups cancer energy? This comes with a huge dose of emotional healing as well. It's opening up lines of communication here having more fun together. They, in fact, face to face may invite you to go somewhere very social. It is one of the most sociable fun cards um, in the deck, such as parties, birthdays, engagements, weddings, some form of celebration here as well. Uh, but oof, they want to be on the same page with you. This is something that perhaps they will fight for the seven of wands. Leo energy, even though I see that your defenses are up, your boundaries are very tight, you're being assertive, you're defending your position, you are standing your ground, but perhaps in due time, I think maybe, we look at that, we've gone from the five, the six to the seven of wands, this is good, this is progressive energy that you may learn in due time to perhaps put these walls down. And however reconciliation looks for you is just right. Because I see here that with the full Aries energy, some of you are curious to actually go for it, to reinstate the innocence of this connection, to actually have a new beginning and go for it. Wow. Okay. All right. Because, you know, the fool for me and the pages are quite curious. All right. Let's talk about the current situation. Look at that. The six of wands again. Leo energy. So we start and we end with the six of wands. Something good for you to know um, as a heads up is that the six of wands, yes, it means that personal victory where people are like, wow, it actually worked. It worked for the better now that they're together. Not everybody will be clapping. So if you can kind of understand who's argumentative um, around this connection, who causes drama, I would say to try, if you can, to keep them at an arm's length. If you cannot probably remove yourself you know, from the room or the situation, but we are seeing very deep here, personal level of success. Let's talk about you. Um, you're being represented as the lovers and the queen of cups. Look at that, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Regardless of your gender, you are looking to the future and you're literally a few cards away here from your perfect match. We've got to the queen and to the king of cups. It's the perfect match couple it's the it couple of commitment of love of marriage of taking care of each other but i see here first above all you are looking after yourself first your emotional well-being your mental well-being your everything about you and that's not being selfish actually that's being very smart you are taking care of yourself first before you consider accepting anyone's cup let's talk about your person they're being represented as the five of wands yeah they want to move forward look at that the six of swords aquarius energy this is someone that has accepted losses this is someone now that has learned their lessons to not repeat again they want to move away from a very very catty energy which is the five of swords now they're looking forward to the future and they want you to come with them sometimes in different um tarot decks we have the six of swords the lady which is the guide you know they're, they're moving on but they're also peeking behind to make sure that you're coming with them so this is good they don't they don't want to argue with you they, they don't want none of that Big lessons have been learned here. Let's talk about the world that's unseen, is that they're slowly coming towards you. The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Now, this is my favorite night. It is the most reliable night. Believe it or not, the changes that are happening behind the scenes, they're a lot more promising. They're a lot more grounded now. This person, I feel like they've taken a really long time to come back because they've worked on themselves here and they've really thought, well, how can I present myself to Sagittarius as someone a lot more loyal, grounded, practical? I want to offer something promising of value, something that's just solid like this table. So we've got really big, solid, promising changes happening behind the scenes. Now, both of you are being represented here as the Two of Swords. Let's add more on that. And hearts have been broken. So from the two, we move on to the Three of Swords. We've also got the Four of Swords. And that's Libra energy. So some of you, yes, there may have been a third party. This literally could be for some of you infidelity. This definitely could have been family members, could have been friends, co-workers that were interfering. So my question to you, Sagittarius, is who was that third party? And if there wasn't, it just really shows that, you know, regardless if there was or not, 
everyone's heart was broken. Nobody wins here with that Three of Swords. So I think this is why your person, they want to move forward away from that Three of Swords. They just don't know how to because they don't know your reaction. And for you, I think it's a big risk, isn't it? What if my heart gets broken again? I've been working on myself really, but really taking care of myself. I don't want to reopen up these wounds again, which is why some of you are tempted to say no to this person. And you've got every right to. Let's talk about the King of Cups. What you both need is now the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm. Wow. Let's talk about the pink elephant in the room. I'm seeing two kings. So yes, regardless of gender, if it was a divine masculine or a divine feminine that was a third party, I'm hearing that. I keep hearing that we need to talk it out. Now we really need to talk it out just so we can put this now to rest and put this in the past. But what I love is that, you know, this is all about someone that both of you are both seeking stability, commitment, if not marriage, but also emotional fulfillment here. This is really grown up energy. Both of you have really, really grown up here. Your skin has become thicker. You've become wiser now. This is a beautiful combination. I just have, because this is what you need from each other, what you want from each other. Let's talk about the Hierophant. In hopes, fears and wishes is my favorite 10, is the 10 of cups, Pisces energy, reconciliation, my happily ever after. Wow, this is emotional contentment, it's domestic bliss. It speaks of children or a blended family. It's actually literally saying here with commitment or marriage, because we don't all have to get married, of course. You literally have a happy home life with this person. It is absolutely possible, but a fear is, well, what if this comes crashing down again? What if the Three of Swords comes you know, in again and I've wasted all this time again? These are normal fears. I would have the same as well if this has already happened in the past. Let's talk about the Five of Pentacles. In the near future, we've got a massive apology coming your way because Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knights are all about messages and changes. Of course, this is of the very grounded, solid changes. This is the emotional ones, re-sparking that romance. I see that your person is going to be apologizing to you. Sorry that I didn't protect you. Sorry I didn't honor you. I'm sorry that I abandoned you or they chose someone else over you. I had someone else's back over you. Here they come. I will say it's genuine. It doesn't mean it hurts any less though, but I can see here that big, massive lessons have been learned here. Mm, okay. Let's talk about the outcome. We have the Emperor. Ooh, Aries energy. This is the divine masculine. It's all the kings wrapped up into one. They will be taking action. This is someone that's going to be stepping up now. Like in other words, you know, a lot of people say, you know, boss up energy. I suppose, you know, it does fit into this. This is someone that's going to take charge of the situation to ensure this never happens again because they want to move forward now. They've accepted these lessons. They don't want to repeat it again, but they want this with you. And one more. We have the star. How beautiful is that? Massive healing, big wishes being granted, ruled by Aquarius. Absolutely beautiful. I am going to say this, Sagittarius, and I'm going to be very honest with you because I win at nothing by lying. It would be cruel to. The combination that you got at the end, this is telling me that this can be healed. A successful do-over, reconciling, you know, and just kind of working out these differences is absolutely possible. If anything, it's showing that it's destined because the star is a big card of destiny, right? And it's also washing away all the past hurt, all the past pain here as well. And it's all because of your person's actions. Now it's like, less talk, more action here as well. This is actually beautiful. I'm it just shows sometimes that, yes, you may hit a rough patch with this person. There's probably a period of time that it may seem more than a year, two or three years, where you probably don't talk to this person. But it was needed because I'm seeing a lot of grown up energy between the both of you, especially your person now that have stepped up with all these king energies and the emperor. And now it's like, well, let me prove it to you, Sagittarius. Let me show that I'm going to fight for you. I actually like this reading. I really do. It's going to take time. But it's not going to be an overnight success. I can see that because this, this is the smudge that your person allowed to happen. But what I do appreciate, I will always appreciate someone that wants to right all the wrongs that they have done, especially if it's genuine. And I can see that. So I thank you for joining me, Sagittarius. Um, in terms of maybe timing, it will be slightly different for everyone, but I am seeing perhaps there could be something happening around Aquarius season. We are still in Aquarius season, if not Aries season, which let's be honest, is not that far off, right? Aries season right here in the outcome. So 
I will see you in the next couple of days with a brand new topic, fresh new reading, different cards, and I cannot wait to read for you. For those that haven't subscribed yet, I do invite you to subscribe so you never miss out on your reading. I do it every single week here on Wednesday in, uh, in Australia. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Sagittarius, please take care. Bye.